Well, that flew by. We're at the end of March, so you know what that means. Once we reach the end of the month, it's time to look back and see just because I could have done something, did I do it, should I have done it, and the answer right now is no, based on what I've done in the past with sneakers. You, you can just watch my recent videos because I discussed this a lot, shifting how I approach buying sneakers and a number of different things. But one thing that remained consistent over the past few years, especially I believe in 2022, paying down student loan debt aggressively, certainly in 2021 as well. So this series, it's student loans versus sneaker uh, sneakers that are on the resale market. So. I am paying an extra amount every single month towards the principal balance of the highest interest student loan I have to get that knocked out. And then later on this year, all of the loans in full will be paid off. So I am sticking to that. Go diligent. I am focused. But for this series here, there are sneakers that we love and we admire and we certainly want and you take an L on them. If you're into Nike SBs and you don't have a local shop or relationship with that shop, then chances are, unless you luck up on the sneakers app, you are taking an L on so many different pairs. And I'm very often into like the basic pairs. Like they don't have to do the most. It could be the orange label pairs. Like I really like the wolf gray and just the black and white and... Yeah, none of those have worked out for me. They just they have not worked out for me. So the one of the SBs that really caught my attention last year, and it was amazing to see it debut, uh, the Yuto Horigome Nike SB Dunk Low to celebrate an Olympic gold medal champion. And yeah, I struck out, did not get that at all. Now that's not to say I'm totally without anything that doesn't come, you know, close or have some of the, some similar elements to that specific pair. If you guys remember, this is the Spectrum or the Easter. Um, Nike high. This is the high SB dunk. And again, you have some similar elements just in terms of the blue, the lighter green present on here. So um, I need to enjoy this pair more. My SBs are the ones that are not really being moved out except for one pair that was uh, that was sold. But a lot of them will stay in the collection regardless of the pair down that's happening right now. So yeah, if you guys remember, and, and they're a little bit different, right? So they're not um, identical <laughs> in nature of the paneling themselves, but I still think a really, really cool pair, but for the Uto pair. So if you look on GOAT right now, if I were to pick up a size six and a half, 270, everything shipped, it would be 304.68 based on when I last looked at the price prior to filming this video. So 304, well, guess what? I paid an extra 300 towards that student loan and I'm just, I'm just checking the box, okay? I'm checking the box for March, moving one step closer towards that financial freedom of not having the fixed cost whatsoever of student loans on my plate. And that's a place that I want so many of us to get to. If we have student loan debt, I would have love for a lot of forgiveness to have been shelled out and you already know I've had people be upset and be mad and I had to pay mine back why shouldn't you pay yours back also I pay taxes towards public school systems and I don't have children so we're not opposed for a lot of you to helping aid someone <laughs> in their education just only when it benefits you and also why do we want other people to suffer in the same manner that we did like I know humanity is just shot and in hell but I would like for it to just you know return in some way shape or form that's why we like watch really cute pet and animal videos because it can restore some form of humanity in us that things are still good and you know joyous in the world so I would have loved to have picked up the uh the Yuto Horigome SB Dunk low but I did not okay it's just a responsible adult future me I know will thank me for this and the funny thing is I would have bought that bought, bought that like back in the day right like if you guys recall um this was I thought a pretty reasonable price at the time when I picked it up so this was the St. Patrick's Day um Nike SB Dunk Low of course so many of us wore this we broke this out during St. Patrick's Day and and yeah, I didn't even do a whole lot, but this was my contribution to the holiday itself. So uh, those pairs, I thought a few I picked up, they were reasonably priced, but they were still certainly over retail. I'm just not doing that this year. I'm not doing that this year. But I love the, I love the, uh, I guess the exercise of seeing what could I do with that money, right? That's an opportunity cost. I could have spent it on this Nike SB Dunk Low, but instead I put it towards paying down that principal, which of course will diminish the interest that I have to pay over the long-term life of the remaining balances of these loans. So 
just TJ here being responsible and I'm glad that I can be that example here on YouTube and within sneakers. So please go ahead and comment again if there are any goals that you are chasing right now or what is your favorite upcoming Nike SB on the market? They consistently drop great pairs and sometimes again they don't overdo it. They're not doing a whole lot and it works or they have a collaboration out and you get introduced to different brands or different uh, you know retailers, designers, athletes. It's always a great thing to see a really quality uh, uh, SB come to the market. So I thank you so much for tuning into this. Hopefully you've caught my recent videos because listen, I said uh, I'm going to play the patient game the same way I did with the Nike Obsidian when it comes to the Royal White pair that's dropping for women. So that dropped March 22nd. I'm pretty sure you're watching this after that. You have to watch them. This is the end of March. So check that video out. Please be sure to comment below any thoughts you may have. I really appreciate you tuning in. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.